Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the software indicator of hydrologic alteration. So first we need to set up a text file with the flow data. The first line should be date, comma, flow, and then you put the day of your first record, the first day to your last day. If you have some gap, you can use minus one to fill this gap. You should never leave a gap without any data. So here is my data, just to show you guys. You should keep in mind that you should have at least 15 years for the pre-impact period and 15 years for the post-impact period. This period could be longer or shorter, but that's the ideal. Okay, now that we have the flow data, we can open the software and set up the working directory. So my working directory is called IHA program. So I click here and then I press OK. You also have to set up the water year definition default. So I set up as start the hydrological year, the water year on January 1st but you can pick between January, April, July, October or you can define so I click OK and then now we're gonna add the hydrological data so we click in import data file and then we press OK you're gonna select the data file in text format press in open then click here, like the missing data will be minus one. Select the unit you want. I'm going to select cubic meters per second, but you could also use cubic feet per second. Click OK. It's going to show you the data here. The one that is not readable because there is a gap. And then you have to save the data by clicking here. You have to create the name of the file. I will, I will put as video. Press OK. And once the hydro data is saved, you can go ahead and create the project. So I click here, start a new project. I will select the database that I want to use. I will use video. And then I can start the analysis. So I click here, new analysis, use the wizard, next, I name the analysis as video. So I can select to analyze as a single period or compare two periods. I will use compare two periods. And here I can control the impact, when the impact occur. So I will set up as the 90s as you can see when I drag here this part changed to so my pack will be after the 90s and it's here I could choose to analyze until 2016 or until the year 2010 I can you know drag this and create my own period as I want so I click here next and then I have the parametric statistics and non-parametric statistics. So the difference is for the parametric analysis, I'm going to use the mean and the standard deviation. And for non-parametric analysis, I'm going to use the margins and the percentile statistics. So I will use for this analysis the parametric statistics. I will click next. So here is asking me to give a title, I will say video, next, and then save this analysis. After saving it, I have to run the analysis. So I click here, run, and then I give a name for the analysis. So I will say the video. It's going to take a couple of seconds, and then I can already see that. I run successfully. I can see the results as tables and it's going to provide me some Excel document that I can save in my hard drive. Just a couple of seconds. 
and here I have some messages like it's telling me how long the data was interpolated, how many days, if my low post level was achieved or not, and other important message. Each analysis will have a different message. I have here the annual summary statistics, the IHA parametric scorecard with the parameters from this method. I have the RVA scorecard, the variance data, the daily effects, the flow duration curves, and like I said, the message regarding your data. So you can go ahead here, press here, and you give a name. You just put the name as we do, and you can save it. This program also provides you some graphs. So you have here monthly flows. So you can click and it's going to show you. Oh, I just. Oops, sorry. Okay, then you can see here also the minimum flows. You can see here annual data, environmental flow components, flow duration curves, so you can pick by month or just the annual and it's gonna plug for you. These graphs you can also edit by clicking here so you can give a new title like um, flow duration curve yeah. so you can also edit the colors of the graphs, you, and then you can copy them and paste at your file. We also have other graphs like the hydrologic alteration, you can show the greatest one, all the factors. You can show the monthly flow, the RVA boundaries. So you can see here the pulse impact in red, the pre impact in green. And as I said, you can also come here and edit the name and add the name of the river if you want. You see. And that's it, guys. At any time, you can come back and open again your project. You can create new projects. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you guys like this video.